In this video, we're going to talk about how to install SWI Prolog on Mac OS. So to install SWI Prolog, the first thing you need to do is to navigate to www.swiprolog.org. That's the homepage for the SWI Prolog project. Then you need to download the disk image, and once you've done that, you'll open it and copy SWI Prolog to your Applications folder or wherever you want it installed. Then you'll need to launch SWI Prolog, and since it's not coming from a developer known to Apple, there's some steps you have to take there. And then finally, once we've launched SWI Prolog, we're going to consult the file just to make sure that our installation is working. Now in this video, we're not going to talk about editing a Prolog file, but you can do that using any text editor you like. And there's other videos that show how to do that on Mac, but really it's just up to you to decide what text editor you prefer to use. So the first thing we need to do is to download the software. So if we go to swi-prolog.org, hover over the download, and then click SWI Prolog. We'll go ahead and take the stable release, and you'll download the appropriate version for your system. So I'll download the latest one for Mac OS, and you can see it downloading. So then open up the disk image. It'll give you a link to the applications folder, and you can copy the... SWI application into your applications folder and you can see that it's there and if I double click it it'll say that it can't be opened. So what you need to do is hold down the control button then left click and select open that'll give you the option to actually open the file and you can see SWI prolog is now open and then once you do that it should allow you to double click to open it from there on out. So let me get some of this stuff out of the way and we'll verify that indeed SWI prolog is working. So the file that I want to consult is in devel code examples prolog prolog 0 and it's prolog0.pl so here's the path I'll copy that path I'll paste it in here and you can see that that's true if I look at the contents of that file you can see there's some stock facts so I'll say stock etp x y and you can see that it does that query for me so it looks like this is working, and I'm all set to start working with Prolog. 